Hello and welcome back to Wing Commander 3! One day I shall do an LP that doesn't have serious audio problems. But enough wallowing in that. Let's rob our victory in Flash's face. And actually hear what he has to say this time. Colonel, I'd like to apologize for some of the things I said. Some? Well, I still think I could have beat you two out of three. Care to go at it again? Nah. From now on, I'll prove it to you out there. That is, if you figure I'm good enough to be your wingman. You're on the roster. You'll get your shot, same as everyone. Thank you. Is it just me, or was Mark Hamill's face way blurrier than Flash's in that shot? Yeah, whatever. Anyway, now, Flash is on the roster. You can only get him as a wingman if you, if you, um... For one, I think you have to steal the Excalibur. Because otherwise, I don't think he challenges you. But if if he challenges you and you beat him, he becomes a wingman. He's technically the only one that you can straight up miss. To see if there's anyone else to pester. Nope. Oh, that, that guy, that super, that that super conspicuous guy. No, he's not real. In fact, he's less real than the bartender. Look, he he's not even animated. Less, he's less real than the kill board, and that's CGI. Or whatever. Anyway, we're now up to 33 kills, and apparently got an ace somewhere along the way. Um, the main difference with an ace... Actually, it might have been Flash, I don't know. The main difference with an ace compared to everything else is that, um, aces... Um, they have much better AI, like, way better. They're pretty much the only ones who will use missiles, and, um, they will actually be able to dodge yours rather easily, either by just outflying them or through the use of decoys. Kind of want to prioritize them. Unless they're really, really annoying, then you want to take care of everyone else around them so you can focus on them. You won't have too many problems with most of the aces. Oh, look who it is. Colonel. You know the Kiorathi may be using bioweapons here. First time I've heard of it. Kiorath has been preparing these kind of weapons for years. If they're not deployed here, they will be somewhere else. Would you mind telling me how it is you know so much about the Kiorath? It doesn't matter if you believe me. She knows something. That wasn't what I asked, but... Well, that's where you're wrong. It does matter. It's just that someday I'd like to get the rest of the story. You may have noticed in uh, the last couple episodes, even though I stated that I don't like Cobra, I was a lot harder on Flint than Cobra. Well, there's a reason for that. We'll get to it much later. More importantly, look! A locker is closed! I don't know why it does that. Sometimes it's closed, sometimes it's not. I'm curious. No, it's still closed. So he's got one more place to check. Ah! Flint! Hey. I flew here once. A lot of places to hide in this system. This your first time? This is my home system. My father taught me everything he knew about flying here. He'd been planning to pass it all on to my brother, but Kilravi had other plans. I'm sorry. That's all right. Everyone's lost someone, right? They don't give you medals for it. You haven't been back since? Well, which one was home? Uh, that one. It was a beautiful world. Dark purple nights and burnt moons that chased each other across the sky. The insects would sing. Different serenades, depending on how close the moons were. Yeah. My brother and I would stay up listening. Do you remember the time before the war? I don't let myself. Sir, I have scores to settle here. I can't be on the sidelines for these engagements. I need to be part of what goes down. Give her a shot. Okay, here's one of the early reasons why I don't like Flint. She makes it very clear that this whole war is personal to her pretty much immediately. To her CO, which she then bitches at about why she can't not fly during this. 
Furthermore, it gets much, much worse very soon. I won't spoil it. Also, if you hear any cat noises, that's because one is very upset with me not letting her out in the rain. She's now on my lap and clawing my leg. Hello, kitty. You want to say hi to the audience? No? Okay. I can't risk it with her. Listen, I'm not sure I can afford to put you and your dead brother on my wing. Oh, that one was cold. Love it. Anyway, uh... Now we get to go actually shoot things. Let's get down to business, shall we? I'm ready, sir. The Karathi intentions in this area remain unclear. While we continue to gather intelligence, your task will be to corral the cats wherever possible. We wish particularly to shut off their access to the populated planets and this asteroid field. Let's try to put these Karathi raiders out of business permanently. Hmm? Ready to go, sir. I like that enthusiasm. Dismiss. So, these are the mission objectives. I actually just realized, considering the, uh, the cutscene that we ended on with, uh, with Prince Thrakath and uh, Tim Curry, I'm so mad at myself for not being able to get his voice. But don't worry, he has at least one other scene. I can't believe they only got Tim Curry for like two scenes. Anyway, um, how did Cobra know about that? Like some kind of psychic premonition shit. Anyway, our choices for for new for noobs to uh, go out with are now down to Vaquero. Flash, the new guy, and Flint. Due to my disdain for Flint and her just sassing me more, we're gonna go with the new guy, Flash. I also want to show off something kind of funny. Flash, you're gonna be my wingman. Watch and learn. Dismissed, and good luck. I want to show it off with Flash because he's actually the one that I first noticed it with. <laughs> You know, I talk a lot about how bad the Hellcat is, and that I mentioned it one time, the only time we ever had to fly it, and then never really brought it up again. But it's noticed that, uh, less missiles than the arrow. Here. Do you think I should take it out? No, me neither. That to all Imrex, and away we go. There are, there are missions where we'll actually have to use the Thunderbolt. That's why I'm that's why I'm not concerned about showing it off right now. Started, ready, set, and go. Also, uh, apologies in advance if I'm a bit more wobbly than usual. I might have uh, damaged my flight stick because I dropped it the other day. <laughs> I lightly brushed against it, and for some reason in anything anything in my house, if you lightly brush against it, we'll just shoot across the room and smash into the wall. It didn't hit the wall, it hit the floor, but still, same same principle. I don't know why they painted now, so what I see. Okay. The thing that I want to show here is what happens if you don't tell Flash to in, to break an attack. Uh, <laughs> if, if you don't tell them to break an attack soon enough, they'll get mad at you. Also, uh, while, while you're uh, while you're talking on the screen, you actually can't. Damn, he's good. Anyway, you actually can't open the communications menu. If you want to get around that, you can instead open the. Uh, you can instead open, like, I have the shield menu up, and then hit the communications button and bypass it. In the old Wing Commander games, you actually had the ability to turn off the, uh, the, like, fortress. 
people when people when people follow you. I don't know why they took that out. Ow, you almost shot me in the ass. Choke on that, you booby bag. Uh you'll notice that I'm kinda gun shy around the back. That's because they actually have a turret in the back. I think they're a heavy fire. And that turret hurts a lot. Like, it'll chew your ass apart. It might actually be a tachyon gun, which is the same weapon that is the main gun of the Excalibur. I've been killed by more than a few of those. Ah, that's what I see. Go get attack. Yeah, watch this action. It's just a dark hit. And... That the Death Star? Oh crap, there are two Death Stars! We're getting ultimate flashbacks. You either know it or you don't. Hey, you just stole my kill! You did! means something along the lines of ambush in Kill Rathy. And uh, as you can see, they can cloak. It's sort of a thing in sci-fi that non-human species are really, really good at cloaking. Especially if they're at war with humans. Mistraka aren't really perfect at it, though. For some reason, occasionally, they'll be, like, translucent. Like that one right there. And they're, they're, the other thing about them is they're really, really fragile. You only need like one or two good volleys to just tear them apart, especially in anything heavier than the arrow. I see. Go get him, Break kid. Break attack. Yeah, watch this action. It act... It actually, you know, locks on missiles far closer than you have a chance to hit them. Oh wow! Oh no, that hit him! I thought he spoofed it! Oof. No, I don't want to target the destroyer now! Destroyer can wait. Try very hard not to crash into not to crash into the dolphin. Ah, that the last one. No, too close. That one was mine. Suck it, Flash. Also, uh, something I haven't shown off yet. I hate easy targets. You can actually talk your enemies. Time to see your bet, kitty. You and the lead will respond, and they'll get very angry at Die. I don't know why they're not responding now. Bad missile luck today. So this is actually why I primarily use um use my main weapons. I have unlimited though. I have unlimited of those. If they miss, it's not a big deal. I only got eight missiles. Yeah, just fire wildly in a general direction, and sooner or later you'll kill them. It's the Rambo theory. Destroyers are actually pretty tough, as you can tell by the fact that it's called a destroyer. Look at it, it's enormous and covered in guns. But it 
does have one weakness. A blood hole. checking because there is actually a key to insta stop and insta go i don't remember if i have them set to default or if i change them so i'm not going to bother mentioning what they are what i see yeah uh believe it or not i actually find corvettes way harder Break an than attack. And watch just about attack. any of the other capital ships kind of weird isn't it Oh crap! I think someone sideswiped me. They have never been in trouble for a dark end before. Mission objectives accomplished. Man, those dark ass fucked me up. Need clearance, TCS Victory. Feels great kicking some furry butt in this system. We're moving on to Lakonda 4. Intel says the Karathi presence there has increased. Hey, sir, I'm getting reports that Flint was a little wild out there. She been picking up pointers from Old Mania, huh? How should I know? I didn't take her. You're clear to land. Mm hmm. Rollins, don't kink shame. That's just wrong. Furries can do whatever they want in the comfort of their own home. And or designated furry areas. Okay, I think we're actually gonna get some, uh, a, a different thing here, because we got pretty banged up. Just the batons! I want that helmet so bad. smoked him colonel thanks chief yeah that's the second best outcome i'm certain that you'll get to see the uh, the bad ones later i was considering going further but frankly this episode is probably already over time so thank you all so much for watching if you like this video please like comment subscribe share with your friends blah 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 blah, blah. you know the drill Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you again next time.